exercise to promote uh, blending, to help with harmony, cre create cohesion within each section. Um, but it just got so pretty that we just kept it for the concert. Um, so the next piece you're going to hear tonight is um, Idumea, and it is Latin for the biblical term Edom, which is a town outside of Canaan. Um, and the story behind this is that it is a hilly land south of the Dead Sea that is now in Jordan and includes the ancient city of Petra. When Moses wanted to enter the land of Canaan via Edom, the rulers of Edom wouldn't let him. So this is a setting that was set um, by a Shenandoah, Virginian, uh, southern shape note circle writer. Um, and it was written about 1816, and um, you, hopefully you will hear it has one of the most haunting melodies um, that you will ever hear in any Appalachian tune. Uh, we all kind of fell in love with it. And we also have a fantastic guest violinist to us this evening, one actually out of sabbatical, so we really appreciate that. So, you, you do me.
beautiful choral pieces. It is incredibly ambitious for an ensemble this size. I have really put it on these guys this semester. Um, but I hope you'll agree with me that it's going to sound pretty amazing. The translation, because this is in French, the translation is Word of God, one with the Most High, in whom alone we have our hope, eternal day of heaven and earth. We break the silence of the peaceful night. Savior divine, cast your eyes upon us. Pour on us the fire of your powerful grace, that all hell may flee at the sound of your voice. Banish the slumber of a weary soul that brings forgetfulness of your laws. O Christ, look with favor upon your faithful people, now gathered here to praise you. Receive their hymns offered to your immortal glory. May they go forth filled with your gifts.
kind of a hybrid. It's half in English and half in Latin. Um, but basically, the, the piece itself is a song of parting or a farewell song. It's a reflection on the constant passage of people through our life and our need to anchor the words of love in the hearts of those that have been pillars to us. And the translation of the Latin is, the sun warms everything, even when I am far away. Love me faithfully, and I know that I am, I know that I am faithful.
the, the ensemble that you saw at the beginning was a combined. It was both our voice collective and our university choir. Um, so before, even though this was our parting song, technically we have one more holiday tune for you, and then we're going to do a change out, and we're going to bring out um, another combined piece. We're going to bring voice collective out to join us for one more song. But this last piece of university choir will sing alone is Pat of Dan, and it's become one of our favorites. So I hope you enjoy.
pretty obvious. First one is Lady Gaga, and the second one is Leonard Cohen. So hopefully they'll be familiar to you. This is Lady.
slave tomb that was based on the scripture, based on a scripture from the book of Matthew, where Jesus tells his disciples, Be ye ready. You know not the day or the hour of my return. This is keep your lips. Keep your lips.